Since the day she was born, Arlene Lowe has carried a dangerous virus known as hepatitis B. She learned she was a carrier in her late 30s, but kept the diagnosis a secret for 15 years. I was devastated. All I can think of is I have three young children, and I have a husband, I have a good career, and what is going to happen to my kids and husband uh, while I'm sick in bed. Hepatitis B is a viral infection and it infects the liver and over time it can cause damage to the liver so that it doesn't work properly and in a certain group of patients it can even cause liver cancer. Chronic hepatitis B affects fewer than 1 in 200 Americans, but among Asians that figure is an astounding 1 in 10. The virus typically spreads through blood intercourse or from mother to baby during childbirth. The latter route uh, from infected mother to a newborn baby is actually the most common way by which hepatitis B is transmitted among Asians. In most countries, newborns are now vaccinated against hepatitis B, a step that prevents transmission from the mother. But the virus continues to strike adults who never received the vaccine. The infection is very easy to diagnose. It's a simple blood test that tells you whether a patient has chronic hepatitis B infection. And if you do test positive, go and request to get further testing so that you know if you may be one of those uh, who should be started on treatment now. I'm just going to go look at your film and I'll tell you the result, okay? Not everyone right. with hepatitis B needs treatment but all patients should be tested regularly for viral activity and signs of cirrhosis, a dangerous scarring of the liver. Doctors say the most serious complications can often be prevented thanks to powerful new therapies that suppress the virus when it's active. When a virus is suppressed to lower level, there's less liver injury. And we do have data to show that uh, over time, the patients who have a sustained suppression of virus do have a reduced chance of developing cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. There are several FDA-approved treatments for hepatitis B. These include injectable therapies and oral medications, one of which has had dramatic results for Arlene. I don't have any happy virus at all at this, at this time. Uh, and I didn't have any flare-up for the last five years. In terms of the treatment, I think I found my magic bullet. The oral medications are one pill a day, very few side effects, but they're very effective at suppressing the virus. Um, I really Unfortunately, feel, feel only a fraction it. of those I who could benefit long. receive treatment. No pain here. I think part of the problem in the Asian community is that hepatitis B is looked upon as a taboo. If you have it, um, uh, no one likes to talk about it. Advocates like Arlene are working to change that. I would encourage anybody who's diagnosed with chronic hep B to seek treatment as early as possible. The chance to spread this message is what prompted Arlene to start speaking up after so many years of silence.